guess what I'm working on this week? A lot of shit, actually. Um, I'm doing the wiring on this. Just running the loom right now. Um, that way we can cover it up and I can plug everything in. I'm going to run the loom for um, the headlights and, you know, the, the computer and all that stuff, too. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be getting this done. Um, I do have, like, a bunch of regular stuff coming in. Like, we have an AC check that came in. Um, Tis the season for AC check. Um, yeah, also, like, going to start getting some of the other engines that we have here going. And, you know, hopefully I have time to work on the Corvette again just because everything's still kind of foobarred with uh, work. But we're getting there. That and I had to tow my neighbor's car in because it's overheating and I told him I'd look at it, so. For any of you who want to say, oh, that's cheap loom, blah, blah, blah. It's, they're, they're, we're using it for a reason, all right? She's not trying to have a show truck. She wants it to be nice and work. That's it. So no need to spend all the extra money and whatnot on the extra fancy, pretty, whatever crap loom. That is just gonna blend in and fall away at the wayside anyways. This is uh, my, my neighbor's um, nephew's twice removed, um, whatever. Uh, this is their car and he asked me to bring it in so that they could figure out what's wrong with it. Um, and it's overheating, go figure. Um, this might be a telltale sign. Um, it's very rusty, but uh, we didn't film it earlier because we were more just looking curiosity wise. Um, it looks like there was a freeze plug that might only leak under pressure which is down there. Um, as you can see, it looks very rusty. Um, so I filled it and I just wanted to make sure that the freeze plug is leaking because unlike a lot of people, I want to actually see the problem before I just call it as whatever that rust bucket is right there, right? But up here is where it actually started leaking from back down here and it's the intake manifold gasket. Now I'm not saying that the freeze plug isn't leaking or doesn't leak when there's pressure or whatever, right? Um, it might have leaked all the water out and then blew the intake manifold gasket, um, which makes me kind of think that we might have a head gasket problem. And the fact that uh, now I've taken two of those funnels out after putting in almost a gallon um, tells me that we definitely might have a head gasket problem because it's just pushing everything out. Um, I still want to do some more checking before I call it because I hate calling something and being wrong or it was worse than I originally thought. Um, yeah, this was going to be fun. And by fun, I mean not at all. Ooh. Well, so if you guys don't know, your local O'Reilly's has this kit and they sell a blue fluid. And if you look, that's not really blue anymore. The blue fluid changes to a yellow or a green when uh, there's exhaust in presence. So um, yeah, we have a blown head gasket or two. Oh yeah. As you can see, it actually got more yellow as I did that. And this is what it starts out as. So now I'm going to price together an entire head gasket kit, which good news. We have easy access to the freeze plug and the valve or the intake manifold gaskets when we do that. So yay.
Have you ever heard of the phrase, when it rains it pours? So, if you watched the last video, you know the shop isn't perfect, right? We're a little swamped and other stuff. And uh, Fred decided the other day that um, dropping a 300 pound solid wood butcher table on his foot was a good idea. So he broke three bones. I don't know when he'll be back in, because as, as far as he told me today, with the crutches, he can only stand for five minutes. <laughs> so I guess it's a good thing we decided to dial back on paint, because he ain't doing it anytime soon. And um, yeah, so, oh, I don't know if you watched the other one, but the K Miata guy decided that he didn't want to spend that much money right now. So we're also not doing that project, but I'm gonna get some other stuff done. I have this to do where, you know, an ECU showed up for a van that we have and other things, but everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, I'm gonna put the, the wires down because we have them up from before. So. I also got to figure out which one is power and pulls the air the correct way. So not only are we doing the wiring on the truck, um, I'm doing a uh, compressor or AC compressor clutch on this Mustang here. It roasted and AC stopped working. And then I also have a van that we replaced the ECU in and I had to get a radiator cap because that was also leaking, just testing everything on that thing as well. And then I've also had to order some parts and you know, I have to look up all data stuff for customers and you know, just sit here and bitch to you guys about my life and how hard it is. So it's been a pretty pr pr productive day. I like it, it's a good life. Fred is at the orthopedic surgeon. Oh, yeah. So yeah, he's getting checked to, he was like, I might need surgery. And I was like, you, you gonna need surgery. If you saw the table, it's like, like it's like that bit, or like, like that, right? Like it's like that thick of wood and it's like more thick, oh my God. And it's like, it's, it's a butcher, you're supposed to throw a pig on it and just swing at it and you're not gonna hurt the table. That fell on his foot and he's like, we'll see if I need, you need surgery, bro. I don't like, I'm a realist, I'm sorry, you fucking need surgery. And the only thing that I can hope, and you guys need to tell me or comment on there and tell him to relax, because he won't, he won't. He'll, he'll be back here trying to take an engine out in two days, I guarantee it. Um, and then, so the clutch that I was doing on that, so the part that I was getting on there, on the, um, the coil part of it, got that on, um, and then, the little bearing part that spins when it's not engaged was dropped before we got it and it's bent. So I have a new one coming. And so we're putting the headers on. Uh, Steve was kind enough to paint them black to hide my shitty welding. So just getting more done on this today and uh, maybe that van too will start that here in a minute. He's back. For right now. <laughs> For a little while. While I polish this job out so that you guys can get it out the door. But my foot, not feeling too good. Yeah. Look at that ankle, dude. Look at how swollen up, all purple it is. Yeah. Not doing too hot. <laughs> but we out here. Polishing. You persevere. Yeah. Headers are on after I found a couple broken bolts that I obviously didn't do when it was easy. So I got those out. And um, now we got a call that a box truck is coming down to try to bleed their brakes, which I think he said he couldn't bleed them. I don't know how they're getting here safely. Watch out on the road, these people drive among us. But this is our truck lift, so we gotta push this thing out. And then I'll, I'll work on something else around here, but 
Yeah, tis a normal day.